Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to create a glass uh, railing, uh, but using the wall command and families. So the first question is, huh? What? what? When we're working with Revit, what you'll notice with the default railing command is that we can create the railing, pick the type of railing we want, finish it, and it builds the railing. That's all fine and good. But if we need to start customizing it, it gets to be cumbersome. We can go to the type properties and go into the rail structure and delete horizontals, which is very easy, easy enough to do. But if we need to start modifying the vertical styles and the position and the type, this gets to become um, a little daunting, especially if you're new to Revit. What about figuring out a way to do it differently using the wall command and a special family so that's easier to place the vertical styles uh, easily? Here I have the wall created. And if I go into creating another one, you can see that I can just place it wherever I want. I'm not restricted to, oh, it has to be every four feet on center, things like that. How did I do this? If we took a look at this one, we're starting off with a wall, basic wall, that I'm calling glass wall. And if I edit the structure, you can see it's nothing more than glass at a half inch thick. We can draw that wall however we want to draw it, for example, like this. And then as for the vertical styles, this is more than, nothing more than a special family that is wall hosted, and I'm calling it a wall hosted railing for glass walls. If I click edit family, it can, I'll open up the family. You can see what it looks like. You've got a wall in here. Let's go to the plan view. And you can see that if I switch this to wireframe, there is an extrusion for the vertical portion. There are some extrusions for the horizontal members here. And let's switch this. And then lastly, if we look very carefully, we have an opening, a cut opening, a voided extrusion, if you will, that is cutting into the wall. So as this family is uh, used and it touches a wall, it cuts into the wall just like a door or a window. Because if you look at doors and windows, there is an opening um, that surrounds the door and the window that acts as a void and it cuts the wall. That That's how you see the doors and windows in a wall. Same principle. Do the same thing here. When you're all said and done, you load it into the project and then you go ahead and you place it on that wall. So I can go in here and I can say, let's go ahead and place where I want. And the beauty of this is that I don't have to worry about it being restricted to how so many on so many feet, you know. Um, and that's it. It's very fast, simple, cheap, cheating kind of way, if you will, to make a glass wall railing. Uh, thank you for watching my screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.